Sean Wilmot. Today we're looking at the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 314, a technological marvel of jam-packed equipment in this vehicle, which has got so many attributes and so many variations, it's really hard to know exactly where to start. But today we're starting at Helitrans Helicopter Base, which is demonstrating exactly how good it is as a VIP shuttle transport. That's only one of its various applications that it can use. We're going to drive around a little bit today and we're going to show you a couple of variations on the theme and you'll see for yourself exactly what we're talking about when we say why the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter is the van for all reasons and all seasons. What I've come into is a very nice little tight car park which even small cars have had a little bit of problems getting around in the past. I'm now taking the Mercedes around in a nice gentle loop right around this nice European brickwork here and as you can see it's turning beautifully. I'm not yet on full lock on the steering so I've got plenty of drivability and plenty of controllability as well which is really essential if you're getting into tight little car parking spaces. So now we come to the bit that I most like to talk about. The power, the torque, the engine, the transmission, all the mechanical stuff. Unfortunately, that's going to be a little bit complicated because the componentry that makes up the Sprinter line actually equates to about a thousand different variations and the engine and the transmission types are included in that, as is front wheel drive, rear wheel drive or four wheel drive, all of which you can specify as you wish from your Mercedes dealer. This particular model that we're driving today, which I think is running a 2.2 litre turbo diesel, is also running the 7G Tronic, which is arguably the best transmission of the lot. It's my personal favourite, and I'm speaking that as a personal consideration, but the 7G Tronic is just such a brilliant transmission. It is so fast, it is so smooth and so precise, and it is just, eh, the business. Mercedes has built this thing called Crosswind Assist, which is designed to counter exactly wind shear. There's one particular feature that I really want to show you, that's the reversing camera. This for quality is absolutely first class, stellar stuff. So we'll drop it into reverse and right from the word go we can see that I've got a very dynamic screen in front of me. I've got nice little tracer lines that show me exactly where I need to go. The screen is also split, so you've got the camera. We've also got a bird's eye view, which means I can actually line up between car parks if I want to. So we've already discussed the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter as a VIP shuttle transport, but this is the more likely application that you'll find the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter occupying, that of a courier van, workhorse delivery vehicle. I've got about 17 cubic metres of space here behind me. 17 cubic metres of space, how big is that? Well, I've got a pallet in here, I've got a bunch of boxes, and truth be told, I could probably get another one of those pallets in there as well. We've got 10 lashdown points on the interior, and we've also got these handy dandy storage pockets on both sides. When it comes down to it, we've got a very comfortable, a very safe, a very technological, and a very versatile van. Really, what more do you want in a van? <laughs> Probably the most visually technological aspect of the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter is this. This is the heart and soul of the interior cabin now, powered by artificial intelligence. And it basically means that I can say something to this vehicle, and it will do what I tell it to do. Watch this. Hey Mercedes. What can I do for you? Select radio. Tune to 97.4 FM. And there you have it. So far, you can see the pretty much obvious things here, the phone integration, the radio, and back here we've got the Bluetooth. And But if I move my finger, we can actually see all the other functions as well, which includes navigation, vehicle settings, vehicle information, and Mercedes-Benz Pro and the proprietary apps for the brand. But let's just have a look at some of these screens, because some of them are a bit more detailed than you might think. Settings, for example, tells me I've got the ESP system on and I've got Parktronic activated. We can go back to vehicle information, which gives me a duplication of the display readout that I would normally see as a driver. So we have navigation, which is probably the prettiest one. We've also got a compass bearing and we've got a three-dimensional display as well. So what are we looking at with the interior of the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter? Well, this is the first time that we've actually seen a passenger line influence come through into the cabin of a commercial vehicle for Mercedes-Benz. So what we're seeing is a lot of familiar ground for anybody who's ever driven an A-Class, B-Class, C-Class, right through to an S. And as such, you've got a very, very nice layout in general. It's still very operational, very commercially oriented, but it's got all the luxury elements that you're used to seeing. We've also got fantastic seating arrangement that we're so used to seeing with the commercials, but the seating adjustment is exactly what you'd find in a passenger car, and it's 
obviously it's nicely arranged so you've got creature comforts including seat heating for those cold winter months. So there we have it, the 2019 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. So in summation what are we looking at here? Okay we've got a big nice bold new fresh look grille and a nice new front end overall. Inside we've got the luxury appointment spec of the Mercedes-Benz passenger car line extending into the commercial vehicle. We have safety, we have technology, all the various permutations of body style, body shape, wheelbase, etc. We've also got the transmission changes, we've got the engine changes and the drive systems. That whole package put together makes Mercedes-Benz the absolute ultimate pick for a commercial van. And with that, there's not much more I can say.